we are presenting a video of antrectomy with Bilrothman anastomosis for corrosive injury stomach. A 38-year-old female who had corrosive injection on November 7th received primary treatment at local hospital. First endoscopy at third week revealed severe gastritis and ulcerations with deodinitis. She was on PPI treatment but then developed gastric outlet obstruction. She had presented to us in December last week with gastric outlet obstruction and on endoscopy we could find food residue in stomach with pinpoint pylorus. We advised the patient either surgery or endoscopic dilatation but she opted for surgery as a single go treatment. She was planned for antrectomy of the stricture as you can see that the stricture was. So these patients we usually give them a rice tube wash for two days and then take up for surgery. After cauterization we just mobilize the stomach a little bit and then stomach is resected. You don't have to go for oncologic resection for such patients. So just taking care of vessels along the lesser and greater curvature of stomach is enough. So you palpate the stomach whatever the extent of stricture is just 2 cm proximal to it you uh, excise the stomach. The thickened uh, gastric wall can be palpated very well and the part where the stomach is most pliable you cut the stomach there. Similar thing is done on duodenum. The complete mobilization of duodenum is done and then the duodenum at the most pliable part that is D1 D2 junction is cut. Once the complete excision of stricture is done you can see after cauterization as uh, we start the surgery with cauterization the mobilized duodenum and stomach come very much close together and the anastomosis can be done without any tension. So there the complete excision of stricture is being done. So that is being finished. So once this is done we will do the gastro duodenal anastomosis that is Bilroth 1. There you can see both the stomach and duodenum coming together. Now the confusion here is whether uh, such a big lumen of stomach and small lumen of duodenum the anastomosis end to end. The simplest trick to de do these anastomosis is take center of each stitch means you start with angles then take a center of duodenum and center of stomach. Same thing goes on each and every stitch you take center of each. So once the central stitch is taken there you can see the artery forcep is holding it up then from that central stitch in the uh, with the artery and on one angle you take center of each. You just keep on doing that you will have a complete anastomosis line with equidistant sutures from duodenum to stomach without any problem. That posterior wall being done same thing is done anteriorly center of each angle R's or angles are already secured. So that is the central stitch on artery forcep you can see and then we are taking center of each stitch. Once you start doing these stitches slowly and steadily you will see there is no lumen discrepancy. The stomach uh, is already a pliable organ there. You have taken the stomach proximally till the stomach is pliable. So it doesn't make big luminal discrepancies in uh, our hand. And even if it is there a little bit of chitling on duodenal side can help to get these anastomosis straight. And once the complete Bilroth 1 anastomosis is done the uh, complete patency can be seen. You can do these anastomosis with either Vicryl 20 or Silt 20. I have preferred here Vicryl 20 anastomosis uh, suture. Taking continuous can be a tricky job in this. As you can see a complete anastomosis is being done there. Uh, equidistant sutures can be seen. Continuous suture for such type of luminal discrepancies is difficult. There the excised segment you can see. And when we cut open it the pinpoint pylorus can be very well seen. So that is how we manage corrosive injury stomach with pyloric stricture or andral stricture. The patient was discharged on day 6 uh, without any complications. These are the type of corrosive antral strictures or stomach strictures which we can see and most of the times we prefer usually resecting the strictured segment. Now why we have this preference because by removing the remo uh, strictured part you are removing the premalignant uh, disease. The long term complications of antrectomy or excision with Bilroth 1 are less as compared to gastrojejunostomy because gastrojejunostomy can have stomal ulcer, stomal malignancies, biliary reflux or afferent and efferent loop syndrome. And in future if you want to use esophagus, if you want to use colon for esophagus then uh, the esophagus won't create, GJ won't create a problem. So uh, stricture excision with uh, antrectomy or that Bilroth 1 anastomosis really helps in these patients. That is what we routinely practice. Thank you.